Hey everybody, Michael here. Hope you're all well and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at two more products from the Lodestar Grooming line. This time we're going to be looking at their newly released Canyon Clay as well as their Shoreline Texture Spray. So yeah, the clay, water-based, medium hold, supposed to be a matte finish, you know, of course a volume and texture product, and the Shoreline Texture Spray is a texture spray. You can use this as like a freestyler if you want to, to give your hair some volume and texture. You can use it later on to like refresh your hair later in the day. Either way, this is, you know, it's just supposed to be a regular old texture spray product, but of course it does have some unique features about it as well. So the texture spray here comes this eight ounce clear plastic bottle. And as you see, the product has this sort of milky color to it. You do have to shake it. Otherwise it will look clear with some sediment at the bottom. But once you shake it up again, it gets this nice sort of milky white color. And then the label has a very nice, of course, shoreline aesthetic. And there is the ingredients for the product. And here is some information there around the sides. I don't know if you can really see it, but those are the ingredients in case you want to try to read them for yourselves. And like the other styling products in the Lodestar line, the Canyon Clay comes in the four ounce clear plastic tub. And then here, as you see, it has some nice sort of Canyon inspired coloring. And then here around the one side is the information about the product. And then here on this side are the ingredients. Taking the lid off on the inside, you see the sort of thick kind of waxy looking clay product. And like I said, there's a few scents in the Lodestar line. Kathy has a nice variety of scents to choose from. And this, as you see, is the Overlook scent, which is a nice, very fresh, bright, kind of clean scent. I don't really know how to describe it the best, but it does smell really good. Uh, just very, very fresh. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really good at describing scents. All right, so we're gonna start by looking at the texture spray. Theoretically, you would use something like a texture spray before using something like a clay. So let's just start by looking at the texture spray. Of course, you wanna shake it up well before you spray it into your hair. And what I do is I just shake it up, I spray it into some damp hair, and then I go ahead and I blow dry my hair. And after blow drying, as you will see, there's tons of volume, a really nice texture, a very true matte finish, and there is sort of a distinct dry feeling as well. The thing that I found very impressive about this one was the amount of hold that it offers. It does offer quite a bit of hold old. Uh, very similar to the Fuerte Sea Salt Spray that we looked at not too long ago, but this one is even stronger. I would say if you use enough of this sea salt spray, you could work it up to like a solid medium to firm hold, if not a firm hold, because it just has a lot of strength to it. And that is very impressive, and I really do like the texture of the volume. It feels like you could use it as a standalone product if you blow dry it into your hair. It does feel like there is a present product in your hair, and I know for a lot of people you might want a sea salt spray that feels a little bit more invisible in the hair, but if you are somebody that wants like a texture spray or a sea salt spray that has a really present hold to it this one is definitely a good option for you and then i'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of canyon clay over top and the canyon clay is supposed to be a drier medium hold texture product and you definitely want to make sure that you don't overwork it in the hands when applying it so what i recommend is instead of breaking it down all the way to the point where it feels like really sticky and tacky in your hands just break it down enough that it evenly spreads across your palm without there being any chunks left on your hands and then applying it that way is an easier application and the product also is a bit smoother when initially styling which makes it easier to get that initial hairstyle that you want and what i find is because there's so much hold in this shoreline texture spray I only need to use a very little amount of the clay to finish the style and it works together really nicely with the texture spray you still get that volume that texture that really nice matte finish but the clay just helps add a little bit more control to it because it adds some wax to the equation there and it gives a little bit more pliability and I do think it does take down some of the dryness as well from the texture spray both of them though are still pretty dry products when used together but some of the oils and the wax in the clay helps smooth out some of the I guess you could say inherent dryness of the texture spray if you will but yeah i mean this combination lasts really well it'll last pretty much all day i have no issue with that the hold remains consistent all day and the volume is there because you're not using a lot of heavier ingredients in this combination of products so you're not using as much wax as if you were to use the clay on its own these two work really well together to give you that dry finish that you might want with some great texture it gives a bit more of that coarser look to it and me with my hair being as wavy as it is my hair doesn't always work really well with dry products a lot of times it can make my hair go all sorts of different crazy directions and knowing Kathy is a wavy haired person like myself, we actually have pretty similar hair types. She makes products that work well for her hair. So theoretically they should work well for my hair and they do. They're very great sort of dry finished products for wavy haired people, like I said, not the easiest thing to find. All right, all right, I'll get off this topic now. We'll move on to the Canyon Clay by itself. All right, so here we go. Onto the Canyon Clay by itself. Let's get into using it. Scooping it out, like I said, it does have a bit of that thicker texture to it, but when you break it down, it breaks down pretty easily. And like I said, don't break it down to the point where it feels dry and tacky in your hands. If you did that, you overworked it. Instead, what you need to do is you just need to, like I said, make sure it's just smooth across palms, applying it to already blow dried hair with no pre-stylers. 
there is still a little bit of grip. There's still a little bit of stickiness when applying, but if you don't break it down to the point where it's really sticky, it should still go in pretty easily. Then what I really like about this clay as well is that it is a drier medium hold clay. It even feels a bit stronger than a conventional medium, and all that strength, that volume, that texture is ready to go right away. It's a bit of a drier product and kind of like their Pioneer Matte Paste. It kind of has that similar drier feel to it, except with the paste though, it was both really firm and really dry, and it was a bit too dry for me. Whereas this clay, it's not quite as strong as the Pioneer paste. I would say it's probably a notch lighter than that paste. And it has a little bit more wax to it, which makes it also a little bit smoother. And it gives me a bit more texture that I like for my hair. And I also found that it just stays a little bit more pliable than the Pioneer matte paste did. Kind of like a slightly lighter, but way more pliable. And in my opinion, I think better looking alternative to the Pioneer matte paste, at least from my experience. And honestly, I would prefer this one to Pioneer matte paste because I think I like the finish a lot more. Like I said, it's a bit stronger than a conventional medium, a nice sort of natural looking matte finish that doesn't look too dry. It does feel a bit dry to the touch, but it doesn't feel unhealthily dry where your hair starts feeling like plastic. And for me, it holds up pretty much all day because it is a drier product. It's not really going to succumb to things like a humid climate as easily as a waxier clay product will. And yeah, like even later in the day, like you'll find that the volume, the texture, the hold pretty much all remain. They go strong still to the end of the day. And if you want to restyle, you can. Like I said, though, it is a bit of a drier product. So I'm going to be realistic. My hair does still still play to its waves a little bit, but definitely not as drastically as some other dry products have given me trouble with in the past. All the good things though about it initially in the day are still there at the end of the day. So restyle to your heart's content, definitely take advantage of the fact that it is a drier medium hold product. So you can still get all that volume that you would want. And then washing out at the end of the day, it washes out mostly with water and then a little bit of light shampoo usually takes it out for me, no problem at all. All right, so now we've arrived at the final verdict section of the video where we're gonna give the final verdict on both the texture spray and the clay. Let's start though with the texture spray. This this is one of the strongest holding texture sprays that I've seen on the homebrew market. Very impressively so. This stuff has some serious power to it. Makes a great pre-styler, especially for those of you that want something that has the consistency of a liquid, is not going to have much weight to it in the hair, and it does deliver still a really nice strong hold. I think it really comes together to give you all of that. Like I said, it feels like you use kind of like a firm holding paste, both out the thickness of a paste product and a lot more volume, a lot more texture. Just very, very impressive. And it also works great as a primer for a lighter to medium holding texture product, something akin to the Canyon Clay. And on to the Canyon Clay. Like I said, this is one of those rarer, dry finish, medium hold texture products, which is not as easy to come by as you might think, like I've said. Typically with medium hold clays, they tend to be really waxy or they can get kind of greasy or they're not quite as strong holding as you might think they are. And they definitely are usually not as dry. And I like that it gives you that dry finish without being overkill. And you could definitely work it up to something a bit firmer than a medium in a hold as well if you think you need a little bit more strength. Really though, the key is definitely make sure you don't overwork the product in the application phase. Don't break it down too much in the hands before applying it. Just make sure that it still feels kind of creamy but evenly spread across your palms and it will apply much easier and give you a much easier initial styling experience. And you get tons of volume, great texture, a little bit stronger than a medium hold and a great matte finish. This one actually kind of reminds me of Chaotic Clay. I don't know if I reviewed that one before or after this video. I don't have that in the timeline yet. but. Uh, very similar to Chaotic Clay and sort of being that drier sort of medium hold product. I would say though that Chaotic Clay feels a bit lighter weight in the hair. I'd say maybe gives you a bit more volume, whereas this product feels like it gives you a little bit more hold. But they're kind of both that similar rare sort of unicorn dry finish true medium hold products. And yeah, like I said, you want a little bit more hold, go with Canyon. You want a little bit more volume and maybe a little bit smoother texture, go with Chaotic. But yeah, I think they're both great products. You should check both of them out. They both definitely check out on my end. I think they're great products. And this clay definitely is one that I will find myself coming back to. Now that we are entering some colder weather, if I do want a drier finished product here or there, and I don't want to go with something as strong as one of like my firmer or stronger holding products, I'm definitely going to be taking a look at this one and Chaotic alike. So yeah, to sum it up, both of them check out. Both of them really did impress me. I definitely found this Shoreline Texture Spray to be pretty impressive for the amount of hold that it offers. And I also found this to be another successful dry finish clay that might be a little bit stronger than a medium, but still is in that medium ballpark. And like I said, dry finish medium hold texture products are not very easy to come by. All right, I'll stop bringing it up now. You know, dry finish medium hold texture products aren't so easy to come by. There you go, it's the last time I'll say it, sorry. All right, so with that said, everybody, the Shoreline texture spray and the canyon clay both of them are reviewed they're in the books thank you so much for watching this video please like and don't forget to subscribe
subscribe. It really does help out the channel at no real cost to you. Also, make sure that you check the description down below because I will have a lot more resources there for you, like a more detailed written review on both of these products on my blog. Also, the link to where you can find both of these as well if you're interested in acquiring them. And also at the way, 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 way bottom of the description, I will be comparing Canyon Clay to a few other clays on the market to give you a better idea of how it might stack up against some others in your collection. All right, so with all that said, everybody, I got to go get to editing this video because I am really excited to get up on the channel to share with all of you. So you all have a good one and I will see you soon with another video.